Why do you seem so scared? It's Christine and welcome back to Paranormal TV. So today I want to talk to you guys about a group investigation I did at the Jenny Wade house. I did this with the Paranormal Miners. I will link their channel down below. They are a paranormal group, husband and wife, and they do events sometimes. And they hosted this event. So I thought it would be fun to go to because I love investigating paranormal and I love Gettysburg. And I had a friend who wanted to do it as well. We went to the investigation and I had some interesting things happen. I did not go over my evidence yet and I know it's been a very long time because this happened Halloween weekend but if you've been around here for a while you guys know my health issues have been really bad. I've been in the hospital since I got back pretty much from Gettysburg so I kind of have an excuse. <laughs> this video is just going to be me talking about my personal experiences during the investigation and I will let you guys know if I catch anything in another video. I'm going to be working on the evidence this weekend. Even if I catch nothing, I'm going to try and put a little bit of a video um, from the investigation. It was a little bit hard to get a great video out of it because, you know, it was pretty dark and I didn't want to put my camera light on and disrupt other people because it was a group investigation. There were other people and I was trying to be respectful of what they were doing so I didn't want to just be like, hi, how you doing? I'm just going to blind you all. So hopefully I can get a little bit of some, something put together for you guys. We'll see. It's a pretty big group and I don't really like to investigate in huge groups because I think that there's more room for contamination. Um, but we did split up into two groups. I was in Kayla's group with my husband and his best friend Steve and his girlfriend Lorna. Hopefully you don't mind that I said their names. We did the house first while Eric and his group did the basement. At first I felt nothing. I was getting nothing and I was a little bit like let down. I felt like maybe there was too many people. Maybe nothing was going to happen because I didn't hear a lot of people really picking up on anything either at first. So it started off a little bit slow but then a few things started to pick up and happen. So I want to just talk to you guys about that. So I was in one of the bedroom areas and I was trying my best to get a reading off the bed because they were saying like, you know, some people get high EMFs off the bed and some men feel this. So I was like, okay, Justin, stay with me. See if you feel anything. Let's try and get a reading. Let's do this. Let's do that. And I was getting nothing. And I was so frustrated. So I moved to another room, got nothing. I went back to the bedroom at another point because um, there were other people who were investigating. So like I said, I was trying to be respectful. They were doing something that I felt like, you know, they needed a little more quiet. I would leave, you know? So I was went back to the bedroom at one point and there was this cupboard. And I know the cupboard was shut because I walked by it. I looked at it. At one point it just opened and I didn't catch it on camera. How great would it have been if I was filming and it opened? That would have been amazing. I didn't even notice it open. I didn't hear it open, I didn't see it open, I didn't feel it open, but my husband noticed it. And we tried to recreate it, we closed it, we tried to walk back and forth, and we tried to move around different areas of the room, we tried to close it not all the way and see if it would open if we walked by, and it just wasn't doing it. It was not opening up on its own. So I don't know like any of these people, I don't know if the, these people were mediums, quote unquote mediums, or um, anything like that, but the one guy said when he investigates, he can pick up sometimes on feelings, and my feet are falling asleep. He said that he felt like the spirit was very confused. They probably were like, who the hell are all these people? And why are they asking me these stupid questions? That's probably why they were confused, if you ask me. He did feel, he did say he felt like he was in the presence of a spirit that felt very confused. I moved to another room, and I was with my husband, 
Lorna and Steve. Yeah. We we're using our EMF detector, and where we were at, there is a chain, you know, to block you off from the antiques that you cannot be touching. So they said that that chain sometimes moves back and forth. Now, when they told me this, I'm thinking, okay, you walk by and probably it moves, or there's a draft, and probably it moves. There was no draft in this area of the house. It was kind of warm. So there was no airflow that could really move the chain at this moment. And at this moment, it was still, and I didn't think anything of it. And I was sitting down on the floor, and Steve was there. And at this point, I think Lorna and Justin went into another room. And again, I didn't notice this, but Steve said the, um, the chain was moving and we had not walked by it. It wasn't moving prior to that. Um, so that did start happening and that was like in response to questions that we would ask. And then, um, we did the flashlight test, which I personally, I'm not a fan of the flashlight test. It's not my favorite thing. It rarely ever works for me. But we did seem to get some responses from it, some like yes, no responses, like can you make a flash if it's a yes, or can you make a flash if it's a no, things like that. So Lorna joined me at this point. So as some time goes on, Steve leaves the room, and it's just Lorna and I, and we are getting a lot of what seems like responses between both the EMF and the flashlight. And then Justin and Steve walk into the room, and it just stops, and Kayla said, I wonder if it's because they're here. And we had said, if you want the boys to leave, can you turn the flashlight on? And it went on. And we kicked them out. We started to get more responses. I felt pretty good upstairs. It was a little warm, but it wasn't bad. And then we moved down to the basement and we switched. So we moved down to the basement in our group. And then Eric's group moved up to the house. And when I was in the basement, I walked in and I got a real bad stomach ache. And I didn't say anything. I will get to why this may not have been paranormal in a moment, but let's just entertain it. Um, I walk in and I get really bit stomach ache. But I don't like to tell people how I'm feeling in large groups because sometimes, you know, everybody plays off each other, like not meaning to, but somebody will say something and it catches on almost. And they're like, oh yeah, I feel that too. So I don't like to say anything until someone else says something. And later on in the night, someone was like, oh, my stomach hurts. I'm like, yeah, mine was hurting too. And, um, someone else said their stomach hurt. And, like, that's the one thing, like, I'm always weary of is, is someone going to think they're feeling a certain way because I am to, um, not saying that they are lying, saying that sometimes that does happen, you know, like a cough, like, <laughs> and someone else coughs. Um, so I like to wait and hear what other people have to say if anyone else feels that way too then I can validate it with myself because I did not say anything about how I was feeling and someone else did say they have a stomach ache now I will say I went into a gallbladder attack shortly after <laughs> this investigation a couple days after so it could have just been gallbladder issues I don't know while I was in the um basement my face got extremely hot it was really really bizarre I'm usually really cold actually so I'm sitting there and my face gets really hot and it's like burning like it feels like somebody has like a flame up to my face or something and I waited for a little while like okay maybe it'll go away and I moved to a different part of the room thought maybe it'll be a little cooler over here I'm a little closer to the door no <laughs> it did not go away. It just actually progressively got worse. So then I said out loud, like, my face feels like it's on fire. And Kayla touched my face and my husband touched my face. They both said it was extremely hot, uh, like, hot to the touch. It was, like, on fire. People were actually like, maybe you should go outside. Are you okay? But I don't like to just get up and leave unless I feel like I really need to. So I stayed. I'm trying to think. A lot of people felt things in this moment. And I'm trying to remember it was so long ago. So, let's see, people had stomach aches, I felt like my face was on fire, um, I had a little bit of an issue with my camera, um, that could have just been, I was using my camera so much, or it could have been paranormal, I don't really know. A couple people caught some interesting pictures, 
uh, one in particular, this one lady caught a picture that she took of Lorna and there was like this really weird thing on her shoulder. I wish I had the picture to show you. It's really weird. And normally like orbs and pictures, they're not my favorite thing. I'll acknowledge them when I feel like they need to be acknowledged. This needed to be acknowledged. It was weird. Um, it didn't look like your normal orb. It was like round, but it wasn't perfectly round. It looked like it had little individual circles inside and it was very white and it was on her shoulder. Lorna does have some loved ones who passed so I don't know if something was connected to her through family but she felt nothing. She didn't feel weird. She felt like at ease and calm but a couple of times somebody caught pictures of Lorna that just did not look normal and we didn't have a logical explanation for it. I didn't catch anything in my pictures. I know that. I looked at my pictures and I caught nothing. Um, I have to go through my video and my my recordings and all that. So I will do that this week and hopefully pretty soon I will have the video of it up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!